Today we're going to look at radial gradients. Uh, you can have a lot of fun with radial gradients. The bare minimum to create a radial gradient is you need two colors, and that's what I got right here. The default is to be in an ellipse. As you as see, my I have a box here. It's a uh, 500 pixels in height, 800 pixels in width, and it goes out to be an ellipse. If I square that up. It becomes a circle however I could tell it to be a circle as well but first let's look at the syntax first you need background standard syntax is radial hyphen gradient red blue personally I recommend using all the web kits for this because there's some things we're going to do in here that's just not going to work without the web kit and you just know, and you just know, you append the web kit here. This is for Chrome and Safari, Opera, uh, MOZ, Mozilla, MS for Internet Explorer, and then of course the standard syntax. I'm gonna, I'm in this video. I'm gonna be working with Internet Explorer for the most part, so that's the one I'm gonna use. So I'll just go ahead and change this out real quick. Now we have three colors and you'll notice that reds in the center it's because red is defined first green is the second so it goes from center out blue is the, the one that's out now let me go ahead and change my box back to a rectangle so I can show you how you can make it a circle even in a rectangular div so we'll go back to 800 pixels here. Save that. And you see it's an ellipse, but we can tell it we want it to be a circle by just using the keyword circle. So we'll go circle. And a comma, put a comma there. And you see it turned into a circle. Now you may not always want the... Uh, gradient to be because it's going to you know use co even color stops spread it out across the div and but you might want say the center to be let's go, let's go to let's go to the right well you can add a I'm going to add a percentage here let's say 70% I want to show this to you here as well. Oops, that's the wrong, wrong one. You notice you go uh, center, shape, size, and color is the order it goes. You can do center, center too. If you just do one percentage, that's going to be left to right. I'll show you how that works. We notice we moved the center over 70% of that div. Let's reduce it to 30. And then we're going to pull it to the left. Okay. However, we can also do top and bottom. So if I throw another percentage in here, let's say 70. You notice it brought the center down 70%. And if I throw 30 in there. Whoops, what did I do wrong? There we go. Throw 30 in there. It brought it up. So your first percentage is going to be left to right. Your second one is going to be top to bottom. That's the order that it goes in. Now we can add some color stops as well. Well, actually, before we add color stops, we can also use the keywords left and right to position. So let me just go ahead and put left in here. Save. And you see it just puts the center, splits it right there on the edge. And let's change that out to right. And 
and you see it went to the other side top and bottom so left right top bottom are also keywords you can use and let me make this a make this back up 800 pixels okay I'm going to use some new colors here so I can demonstrate this uh, if we remember we can do center center left right top bottom so let's do that 65 percent say left and right and then top and bottom at 25 percent but let's define which side we want it to come off of we'll make it circle and closest side to the center and that happens to be the closest side and that's where it's going to go with those percentages we can make it farthest corner go farthest corner here there we go and the farthest corner would be right here correct so and that's where it brought it all the way out those percentages out okay now we're getting to the part about the fallbacks if you recall in one video and this is I'm including this on all videos here uh, if we use the standard syntax which is this right here taking out the Microsoft Web Kit there this particular uh, using the moving the direction bottom to top will not work and Microsoft Internet Explorer 9 and under doesn't support gradients at all so what do you do about that well what you could do about that is you could add a fallback so we'll just go ahead and make a comment here fallback for gradients all right and as you know CSS reads from top to bottom so you want to put your fallback first because if the because if it's not supported uh, you want it to go ahead and grab it and so you could you, you could do anything with a fallback you could use a background color background image you could create a similar background gradient say in Photoshop and use that as an image for simplicity's sake all I'm going to use is a background color so we'll go and we'll just make it red and this is a uh, supported browsers just to keep them set O R T D supported browsers all right so let me refresh this and show you what happens so if if you if if a browser can't support the gradient it will use the fallback so you, like I said you can use a background image for that you can do anything that you would normally do and that's what will, what will show up and then of course if it does support it what happens and there you go so the fallback doesn't interfere with it at all if it is supported so that's what I wanted to show you about fallbacks